one thing I did notice, I'm gonna have to grab a W2. Now, I think for testing purposes, I'm gonna be able to go in through the app and do everything from here, but um, in the end, I'm gonna have to connect a W2. We may need, I got uh, humidistat inputs here. So I may need a humidity sensor. I'm not sure exactly. They've got some more sensors over here. Looks like they're using an S silk bus like uh, the Jade controllers. Let's go see what our active alerts are. Humidity sensor. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was thinking economizer humidity sensor, but it's it wants a sensor here. I had a feeling that was gonna be a problem. Paid all this money for humiditrols and can't even use it. <clears throat> now, how do I get to set up? Select sensor type, local sensor. I'm guessing that's gonna be, yeah, so that's my input for, which would be this one, digital input four. So we don't want that one because we're not connected to it. We don't have a network sensor, I don't believe. Um, network is going to be that S bus component test. Here we go. Let's try that. Yes, I know there's moving parts. I mean, you're going to have a damn temp rise right there. It tells you your blower speed test in progress. I've got an inducer now. It sounds like that inducer's variable speed too. Here goes my gas. Now, this is stage one. Get my measurements it's gonna be low fire so we need to adjust that a little bit i need to get it to two inches and they want two inches low 3.5 high which is typical let's see if i can kick it straight into high stage or sorry the glare have yeah i'm gonna have to stop the test let's stop it Worked out pretty good. Let's go. Let's go stage two and see if it won't see if it won't go into high fire with stage two. So second stage didn't put me in to high fire like I thought it was going to. I do need to fire both at the same time and make sure this inlet pressure stays within range. And then I got to figure out the high fire. Bring jumper king up here to just jump the damn thing out. Um, if it's not going to do what I want it to do. It doesn't say high fire, low fire. It says stage one, stage two. This is all probably user error. This is the first time I've used this app. So this app is pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. Uh, the, there are time delays built in, so you've got to be uh, patient, which I am not. Press that button for five seconds, let it go, pair, and uh, there's a start button to look for devices. And you'll find it, it gives you model serial number, and then finish, and it'll pull up the unit. It's actually pretty cool and easy to use. You got test mode. I've got a call for heat right now. Uh, the these are Linux thermostats, and they come, unless someone powered them, changed the settings, and turned them off, they come set up for a heat pump. Uh, I, I got done, and then I noticed, well, everything's running and cooling, and I got Y calls. Okay, so I had to go down and figure out the thermostats, which are pretty easy to use as well. We can go down to component test in service. And we can test anything we need to. I uh, still got my W call, so I don't know if it will run, but we'll give it a shot. I did this with the other one. And it works pretty good. Brought the cooling on. Um... There goes my blower. And I can adjust the blower speed here, I guess, too. I heard the blower start up, so, but you can cycle your compressors, stop test, and it's pretty like dead on. Uh, you can do the uh, heating, obviously, blower, the outdoor damper. You can do the outdoor fans individually. And then dehumidification, it will start the, uh, hit your three-way valve and go into dehum. Lucky 
heard the valve go, but we can feel my hot gas going over to the reheat coil. And this is all with, I've still got a call for W at the thermostat. So this is a pretty nice user-friendly app. We can control anything. If you control the dampers, it will actually show you the damper feedback position, and then you can adjust it manually. We got everything running. Uh, I'm getting ready to get out of here. It's Friday and it's about four o'clock, but this guy. So all these other units are old. This guy's been here for, I don't know, the building's been here for maybe four years. And they, it had an old stat on it. The guys, uh, when they did all the work, they asked them to look at it. So they put a new thermostat on it and said, the heat's just not working. We've never gotten heat out of this thing. We just don't know why. So I programmed this thermostat because I put a Linux thermostat on this one and labeled it. But <laughs> gas valve was off. Came in here and flipped the gas valve. I don't know how the ball valves got turned off, but they were off as well. I guess they just never called anybody about it. I don't know how that works. How you can go three or four years without... I mean, it was an upstairs area. The heat rises from the bottom floor, but I, it is what it is. I had a feeling it was going to be simple. And when it started up, I'm getting ready to go down and check it out because I could smell the new heat, heat exchanger. That thing's never, literally never been fired. And I am probably smoked the building out. The, the Linux weren't as bad as... I think trains were so these weren't too bad as far as firing off i didn't even open the panels i just let them i, I warned the guys downstairs it's all under construction i just told them hey don't run nothing's on fire you're all right but uh like the app like the linux units we're gonna come back and do the whole cooling dehum thing when we get a little warmer weather and we'll see how that goes leave trade bearing fan i guess see y'all next time